Alright guys, hi, uh, I have a lot of time today, so we are going to do a, sh uh, it's going to be a pretty long video I think, uh, reroll, new player guide, I've been playing the game for about close to a month, um, so uh, the game is pretty interesting, uh, it's just that it's pretty uh, farm intensive, you got to farm a lot of things, you got a lot of things to do every day. Uh, but of course, if you don't, you're busy. You don't want to touch the game. It's fine. You don't lose out on anything, actually. Okay, so anyway, let's start from the beginning. Uh, when you're a new player, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the game and uh, download files, whatever tutorial. Tutorial, you're gonna learn how to pass, shoot, uh, dribble, tackle, and all that. Uh, use special skills. Uh, different players have different skills which you can use during the game. Uh, during matches, um, there are ranks of skills. Uh, there are a couple uh, A, B, C, and S. S being the best, uh, C being the worst. Um, you can level the skills with uh, black balls from club, where you do a, from a shootout, you know. Uh, these black balls are pretty hard to get. They are very, very rare. This SSR black ball. Yep. Um, okay, when you start the game, you after the tutorial, you will have to get uh, a free player. Uh, it's a free transfer. Uh, you, you come something like this. And you pull. Alright, something like this. Uh, the pool of players is very, uh, it's limited. Uh, but there are a couple of nice players that you can get. Um, one being, uh, the, I mean, basically when you, you start a, a game, you want to reroll, you want to get the best sub possible, you want to get an SSR base player. Uh, there are five rarities, N, R, S, R, S, S, R, and U, R. Uh, you are being ultra rare. Um, so basically, when you start the game, you get something uh, a screen like this where you can keep uh, uh, rolling. Uh, it's not it's not similar to this because you know I gotta spend dream balls here. Um, but you will basically be able to keep pulling players until you get the one you want. Uh, my suggestion would be the SSR base Kaltz, K A L T Z, uh, which is this guy. You want to get the SSR base one. You don't want to get the SR one uh, because you know the rarity is higher, the stats are better. Stats is very important in this game. Um, the Kaltz that I'm talking about is. Let me find him. This guy here, Herman Clouts, Clouts. Uh, this guy. Okay, Workman. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best pull you can get from the free pull, because uh, you you you're definitely gonna use a defensive midfielder. Um, having one from the start is gonna help you a lot. Um, so go for this guy. Or you could, you might get a Diaz, which is uh, okay, since uh, he has an S shot. Let me find him. Diaz. Okay, so now we have uh, two Diaz versions and a lot more raid versions. So uh, in this game, the gacha versions are always better than the raid versions. So if you get an SSR raid. Uh, player, it will still be inferior in stats to a gacha player where you get from pulls. Uh, this is the player, I think. Yeah, Argentina's Pride. No, wait, what? Okay, let's not look from here. <laughs> player list. Easier. 
Okay, so the DS that you can get from the starting pool is... Let me find him. Yeah, this guy. Argentina's Pride. Comes with a S rank shot, so it's pretty nice. He is a attacking midfielder. Okay, in this game, uh, putting players in the wrong positions will get their stats reduced by half. I think it's half. And that's bad. So you want to have them at the right positions and they can actually uh, use their full potential, you see. So you can get this guy, which is okay. You can get a Hyuga, which is also SSR based. Which is also okay, but I highly recommend getting Cults. Because a defensive midfielder is a player that you, every team needs. Which one was it? I think it's this one. Yeah, Reform Fangs. Uh, he has an A shot. He isn't that great because it's an A rank shot. Uh, but, uh, I mean, if you just want to start the game, you see uh, SSR player. You know, you want to go for it. It's up to you. But re-rolling, you're going to get a better start. Um, how do you re-roll? Uh, the guide is on the, the, the Reddit. Uh, basically, you gotta go to your file explorer and then uh, delete some files and then uh, delete a cache or something. And then you reload the game and all that. Okay, so basically that's how you start the game. You want to get either of these three players. Um... There are a couple more players that you can get. Pierre is nice. Uh, Pierre has, uh, he is a more, a player with more variety. All right, so you, you, you can get this Pierre. Let me find him. All right, this guy. Because you can teach him a lot of skills. Uh, he has a pass, intercept and all that, and a shot, so he's pretty nice, if you're just starting out. He is an uh, AM as well, so do note. Uh, okay, when is the best time to, to reroll? Uh, my opinion is right now we have the Dream Collection banner. Um, <coughs> not ideal for rerolling. It's basically for... Players who are willing to put money in the game. You want to get a limited time player. Or players because they are twins. But yeah, so when you want to reroll, you want to start doing Dream Festival. It's always at the end of the month. Um, at the end of the month, you can get Dream Festival players which have uh, higher stats than any other player in the game. Uh, Dream Fest player being this one. This was the previous one. Superstar uh, DS. His stats are, are very, very high. Um, a couple of other... I, I do not have Natu Reza, so... Mm, last one was... The previous previous one was Matsuyama. Uh, their, their stats are a lot higher, alright? Than the normal gacha players. Okay, so uh, if you want to have a nice start in the game, you want to start during the Dream Festival because the minimum ra uh, rarity player that you can get is an SR, uh, which is also great for a new player. Uh, and your chance to get SSR players are much higher. Okay? Uh, you can't pull ult ultra rare players because uh, you've got to evolve them. Um, there are a lot of ways to enhance your player meaning uh, you train them give them notebooks for xp uh, coaches to max stats and uh, you teach them skills enhance the skills increase the levels of the skills get more momentum for lesser stamina if you use raid skills uh, evolution you evolve them uh, with drills which are available from monday to thursdays every week Uh, these kind of drills to evolve the players. Um, 
so basically when you start the game you want to do story story um, is where you get all your dream modes from if you're a free to play player uh, you want to complete the story ASAP um, every stage that you clear you get one dream ball uh, so clearing everything you probably get like quite a bit you know you can do a couple of pulls multi pulls and all that uh, every difficulty normal hard uh, very hard dream balls for everything even these kind of like fillers stories you get dream balls as well so you want to complete everything uh, ASAP since dream festival is at the end of the month uh, and now it's we're in the mid month right now with dream collection uh, get your dream balls ready uh, and pull for dream festival um, okay what's a good start a good start is uh, accounts and a, a goalkeeper Goalkeepers are extremely important in this game. Uh, forwards as well, so you want an SSR based keeper. Uh, based on your luck, um, I mean, you can keep rolling for days and not get a keeper, but uh, a goalkeeper is really important for you to actually be competitive uh, online when you PvP players. Um, okay, let's. Okay, so right now we have the Raw Diamond event where they give you a Morisaki. Uh, basically, you do the event, you can get this goalkeeper. He's SSR, but he. Okay, how do you tell if it's a raid uh, player? There's a treasure box next to it. Can you see? Uh, this means that these are not gacha players, they are farmable. Uh, best SSR player would be either Muller or Genzo. This Wakayabashi. Uh, depending on your preference, uh, Wakabayashi does have a catch, S rank catch, SGGK. Um, which actually gives you possession, while Muller has a punch. Oh, wait, he has a catch. Uh, he has a double hammer punch. So, punches loses possession. You don't get to hold the ball, you get the catch, you get the, get the ball instead. So which is pretty important. Um, uh, how do I explain this? Mm, having a good keeper is important. Okay, you don't want to leak too many goals. And having a good keeper gives you a chance to actually stop uh, strong shots. So when you re-roll, you want to get one. Uh, Wakashimazu is alright. Uh, Gino is alright as well. Um, I mean, Zeno. Yeah, he, he's okay. He has an S rank uh, catch, I think. Or is it a punch? I can't remember. I, I hardly used him, but. Yeah, so SSR keeper, important. Uh, and getting a good forward. Uh, right now, the best forwards in the game would be. Best forwards in the game right now at this moment is um, uh, Raiju Hyuga, this guy, Roaring Thunder, because he has the most insane shot stats right now in the game. I think Natureza is a little bit better, or I don't know, I'm not really sure. But yeah, as a forward, he has the best shot stats so it's gonna be pretty hard to save uh schneider is pretty nice as well schneider can do a couple of things you know tackle dribble uh shoot it's pretty nice okay having a tackle on a forward uh is great because you can win possession uh earlier nearer to their goal and you can score quicker what other good forward? Good forward, uh, Dream Festival DS, which will be available in Dream Fest at the end of the month. It's pretty nice. You can play two positions, uh, forward and attacking midfielder, so it's pretty flexible. Uh, Santana is okay. Using him to drain stamina of the opponent's keeper is pretty nice, since uh, it doesn't lose momentum. The Golden Eagle shot. 
pretty good. Um, so that's about it for players. Uh, basically, you roll with what you have, you know. Whatever you have, you're gonna use it. Um, you wanna max the stats of all the players you have. Um, okay, so this Tachibana brother is not max stats, so you see uh, there's blue numbers here, they're all zero. Well, this one is um, maxed. These are uh, the results of using coaches on your players, so you get actually uh, higher stats, which is pretty nice. So, maxing the stats of all your players is gonna give you an edge over your opponent when you play. So, you're gonna farm coaches, uh, coaches on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, the whole day, you can do it with your club. Uh, having an active club is very important. Um, so that when they share, you join, you get more drops, you share. Uh, they get more drops, you get more drops. It's it's a great way uh, to farm, okay? Uh, did I go through notebooks and stuff? Okay, basically... Um, you're gonna need. Oh wait, this is clear. Um. Okay, notebooks. Notebooks give you XP. They max. Uh, they give your players a uh, higher level when you're used. They're used on them. Um. Uh, you can farm these things from uh, sudden events uh, there's a schedule they'll give you a schedule every week probably yeah something like this they'll tell you what time the rate starts uh, you want to do it with your, your club as well uh, faster farming more efficient uh, for energy uh, it, it's every day so it's three times a day the times right uh, right there so you can just see when you need to be online to farm them um, drills drills are available Mondays to Thursdays did I say that drills uh, Monday you get all the different colors uh, then Tuesday it's red today Wednesday is blue tomorrow is green <coughs> you need uh, UR rainbow drills to get your player evolved to uh, ultra rare so uh, it's pretty random but having more drops gives you a higher chance to get the drills that you need um okay now we're gonna talk about shop exchange shop okay every day when you wake up you want to log in the game check the game out you know check the shop because you can use medals to buy stuff um getting bronze medals is very easy in the game so uh, in my opinion, for me, I personally will only get coins um, for my bronze medals. So I'm not going to get our transfer tickets and all that. Uh, gold, gold medals. Gold medals, you get them from um, selling, I think, silver? Uh, SR? SR or SSR players? Yeah. Or using them to enhance skills. Um you get an SSR ticket for like 150 gold medals you can buy them twice so it's about 300 gold medals you will want to save these gold medals for these tickets since it's a guaranteed SSR player um, and silver medals you can just do whatever you want you know get coaches and all that it's up to you uh, league league medals uh, another currency in the game you play league matches you see these tickets right here um, right here yeah uh, it's the amount of matches you can play a day I think it's five unless you level up you rank up and you get five more every time you rank up so um, you can buy coins a lot of things from the shop um, drills legendary drills SSR transfer ticket for 600,000 league medals also great do note that with the point that you buy the SSR transfer ticket uh, the pool of players is set already 
So at the point that you buy and the current state of the game, whatever players are available, you will get from that pool of players, okay? Uh, this of course means uh, that you do not get Dream Festival players because uh, personally I don't know because I tried using them during Dream Festival I don't think you can get Dream Festival player from these tickets um, Online medals, this is where you play online I haven't really played online a lot so I'm quite busy uh, Online medals you can get Black Balls Black Balls are great uh, to increase S rank skills uh, Recommendation is rank up your keeper's S rank catch or punch so that you can actually stop those strong shots that are coming in at your goal. Okay. Um, I think this is a SR ticket, right? SSR ticket. Yeah, there you go. 120,000 online medals. Uh, okay. Why do I say that when you wake up, you want to log in and then check out your exchange shop? Because. Uh, it takes six hours for it to update. You can actually use Dream Boss Refresh, but it's not practical. Uh, log in only when you actually open the exchange shop that does the shop actually refresh. So just do it, you know, guys, every day. Mm. New player guide, what else? Clubs. You want to join a club ASAP? Uh, my previous club had some uh, anger issues so the sub leader sort of like kicked everyone out I think <laughs> and my uh, club leader was like oh my god what the hell and the whole club just kind of disbanded um, so right now I just created my own club uh, if you want to join let me know be active share uh, it's gonna be fun you know leveling up with your own club is pretty nice since you get a, a lot of club medals uh, club medals are where you get black balls and all that um, And club only players which you can pull from the club transfer uh, This one right here number one Yeah, you, you can get coaches and uh, notebooks and all that so you want more medals uh, as much as you can It makes things more convenient for yourself And having a very active club gets you um, more drops anyway I, I decided to form my own club because uh, I just want to see how it goes you know see how how difficult it is to bring a club up to the required level uh, so anyone who wants to play you're welcome to join uh, just let me know uh, it's very important to share your games uh, Let me reiterate It is very important to share your games And for your other club members to join in So that everybody gets the max benefit From your energy Their energy spent uh, Pro tip When you're farming Raids Do set your gameplay options Auto high speed Skip 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 everything so that it's uh, as fast as possible for everyone involved um, Personally I use energy saving mode because I don't, don't really need the best graphics You know, we're just farming But if you like a nice looking game, you know, you can turn it off uh, So that's about it um, Next video will be another guide probably um, I'm not really good at this game yet, so I haven't played that long. Uh, I didn't play the Japan version, so... Uh, the general idea is farm, raid characters, uh, use better skills from them on your uh, SSR gacha characters, which you pull from transfers. There is a difference, okay guys? Or you can get uh, club transfers. Right now, it's a uh, Mizugi. Mizugi is available right now. Um, you can put his skills on another player, or you can use him. I'm not really sure his stats are really that great. The previous one, uh, Club Tsubasa, had uh, amazing passing. Uh, right now, the meta is passing, so having a good passer 
basically helps you score goals much quicker. Um, you pass to the forward, and then bam, the shot goes in. You score. Okay, so uh, right now I have uh, Misaki, who's a great passer. I think he has like 8,400 pass. Club Subasa has a higher stat, I think. But yeah, so he. He just does a normal pass because he does not have a passing skill. But the pass always goes through, okay? This is the meta right now. And uh, which is why the Dream Collection Tachibana Brothers are pretty nice. Since they have a very good intercept uh, stat. And uh, Masao, they have a S rank interception and all that. So they intercept the passes, which makes it a lot easier for you to play. I have not maxed them, so I'm not using them yet. I have not tried them out. So take my words with a pinch of salt. Uh, I did pull for them if you watch my other video. But yeah, so they're double position players. Uh, well, I wouldn't recommend pulling though, if you're not a whale, so... Try not to. Um... You do get an, a banner which says like uh, you get SSL guaranteed or something. That's a pretty nice get a hit banner, I think. Uh, you get SSR player. Uh, it helps you a lot when you play. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you just start a game, have fun with the game. Uh, learn the game first. And when Dream Festival comes along, go crazy. Use all your Dream Balls and pull. Alright, so that's it from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like or, you know, leave me a comment or whatever. See ya.